Welcome back. As we wrap up Women in Business Week today, we are joined by another influential and powerful woman in our community. That is attorney Lindy Korn. Welcome back. It's been a while since you've been here on the show, but we're pleased to have you here today. I'm thrilled to be here. And, you know, your firm really focuses on workplace discrimination that can be gender discrimination, but all kinds of discrimination. How did you get involved in this field? Well, I was a uh, commissioner of workers' compensation for a decade, and uh, it was through that experience that I saw people getting sick and stressed out at the workplace, and I started to study the fact patterns, and indeed, I realized that discrimination was an issue that people needed help with. And of course, as we talk about women in Business Week, are many of your clients women? And what kinds of advice can you give to a woman who may think that she's being discriminated because of her gender in the workplace? Sure. Um, you know, I would have to say to you that um, depending on what the basis for the discrimination is, we, we help people of all genders, transgendered, same sex, sexual orientation. So there's a wide gamut. Um, but if someone feels that they uh, all of a sudden can't do their job because of their gender or because they're being sexually harassed. Um, they know it when it's happening, but normally they don't want to deal with it. Um, and oftentimes people are terminated before they come to our office. So you really have to be pretty brave and courageous to seek the help of, of what you're there to help people for. Yes, it is, it's very difficult for the plaintiff, and I respect everybody that comes through our doors. I have a wonderful staff of, of uh, four attorneys and one soon-to-be attorney, and we really care and have passion. And I think that's a secret for any entrepreneur. Uh, but it's particularly risky and, and difficult because we're seeing people at their all-time low, mm -hmm. and we only help people who are plaintiffs. So it's, it's a laser focus, uh, on, and we have a passion. Absolutely. And in your opinion, do you think that as a country or a, a, that we're trending towards less discrimination in the workplace or would you think it would possibly be more? I think uh, especially when you're talking about sex and sex is a huge topic it includes gender it includes mm -hmm. gender stereotyping it's a huge issue and I think it has to do with human relationships we spend a lot of time at work yeah and so all kinds of things happen so I, I think it's uh, there's a lot of it I will tell you that pregnancy discrimination mm -hmm. is on the rise and to say in 2013 that you have to choose between having a child and having a job that's outrageous but it's true it, that's a little troubling now why do you think it's on the rise is it because we're working so much more as Americans right now I think that um, People who work, their employers want them to be at work all the time, and people get scared when they see somebody pregnant. And old stereotypes arise, and they think that, you know, they'll not come back and have the same uh, energy level. Well, in, when indeed, I would say to you that uh, a good worker before pregnant is a good worker after pregnancy. Absolutely. It is a Absolutely. natural process and shouldn't have anything to do with uh, ability. Absolutely. Lindy Corn, if someone is watching at home and thinks they may be discriminated at their job for any of the reasons that you've talked about, how can they get in touch with you and really what can they do to help themselves? Well, they really have to sit down and figure out what's the, what is the issue and complain and see if they can resolve it with their employer first. We always suggest that that's an important thing to do. Absolutely. Um, and uh, if they continue to be sick and feel that they have, that they're trapped, call the law office of Lindy Corn. All right. Thanks so much, Lindy, for wrapping up our Women in Business Week. A very empowering woman here in our community. Uh, it was great to have you back. Very nice to be here. Thanks so much again. Now it's time to see that forecast. Here's Todd Santos.